In this video, we're going to cover four questions which have been asked by my subscribers in the last one week. And all these questions are compiled under oral minoxidil. Well, oral minoxidil is becoming increasingly popular because of the growing disenchantment with topical forms of minoxidil. Topical forms of minoxidil have the drawbacks of sometimes greasiness, other times too much of dryness, and many times changing the character of your hair. Also, patients do not like the routine of applying topical minoxidil. Once topical minoxidil is applied and there is greasiness, you have to wash it off. So every morning, you have to wash it off and then go to office. So the four questions that I'm going to answer, all questions by my subscribers, number one, are all brands of oral minoxidil similar? Number two, how much quantity of 5% minoxidil is equivalent to one milligram oral minoxidil? How much quantity of 5% topical minoxidil is equivalent to one milligram oral minoxidil? Since the half-life of oral minoxidil is just three hours, is it supposed to be consumed more often than once a day? How long should I continue 2.5 milligrams of oral minoxidil before I switch to 5 milligram oral minoxidil? So these are the four questions which I'm going to answer shortly. So stay on. As we all may know, oral minoxidil is FDA approved for treatment of hypertension. Nowadays it is used less often, but only in cases of refractory hypertension as it's still being used. On the other hand, minoxidil for hair loss is used in two forms. One is a topical form, which is the FDA approved medication for hair loss. And I would like to remind you here that 5% minoxidil lotion is FDA approved for hair loss in men. Whereas in women, 5% minoxidil foam and 2% minoxidil lotion are FDA approved. When we use oral minoxidil for hair loss treatment, it is considered an off-label use. And so is the use of 5% topical minoxidil in women. Well, there is not much uh, difference between oral minoxidil of one brand as compared to the other brand. The constituent, the active salt remains the same. However, the amount of inactive ingredient contained in the generic forms may be more than the better known brands. So this has to be kept in mind and this will determine the bioavailability of the active form in this particular generic medicine. It doesn't mean that all generic medicines are the same. There are many generic medicines which are also as good, if not at times better, than the better known preparations by renowned companies. But at the end of the day, every brand does not suit every person. You will find that a particular brand which is suiting you much better than the other brands and this is the brand you should continue to use. Since there is also a lot of polymorphic variation from one brand, one salt to the other, it is always important to stick to your brand once you know that this brand is giving you good result. Do not change horses midstream. The second question is how much in milligrams of 5% topical minoxidil is equivalent to one milligram minoxidil? The person who asks me, I have to ask him one question. Are you contemplating to orally consume topical minoxidil? Oral consumption of topical minoxidil can be dangerous because it contains many other ingredients besides just minoxidil. So it is not a safe thing, nor is it advised by the company which has been making topical minoxidil that it can be consumed orally. So it is a dangerous thing. But if you're comparing oral minoxidil with topical form of minoxidil in the same weight ratio, it does not hold water because the bioavailability of applying the same amount of minoxidil on the skin will never be the same as the absorption of minoxidil, the active ingredient of minoxidil you will experience when you ingest it orally. So that clears this doubt as well. The study by Ramos et al. is the only head-to-head -head study comparing oral minoxidil with 5% minoxidil in female pattern hair loss. He studied the effect of oral minoxidil vis-a-vis -vis topical minoxidil in 52 women 26 women for their female pattern hair loss were advised 1 mg oral minoxidil, whereas the other group of 26 women were given 5% topical minoxidil to apply. After 24 weeks of this medication, it was found that those who were applying topical minoxidil had 12% increase in hair density in this duration of 24 weeks, whereas those consuming oral minoxidil had only 7.2% increase in hair density. So since this difference is statistically insignificant, we can from this study conclude that both are equally effective. One milligram minoxidil taken orally is equally effective as 5% topical minoxidil. However, in this study, it was noted that 
those on oral minoxidil had lesser hair shedding than those on topical minoxidil. So this was a take home point from the study by Ramos et al, which is the only study comparing oral minoxidil with topical minoxidil. The third question is that since the half-life of minoxidil is just three hours, is it wiser to take it more often than once a day? The half-life of minoxidil may be three hours, but the duration of action is about 72 hours. And since it is quite a hassle to apply topical minoxidil twice a day, because after all, it is your hair which should look good at your workplace. And once you apply minoxidil, which can cause greasing, greasiness or dryness, the whole idea of having a hair loss medication is thrown upon its head. So it is only advised to take oral minoxidil at night and apply topical minoxidil at night. Why we do not advise oral minoxidil during the daytime is that in many patients it can cause dizziness at work. Just before going to bed is the best time to take oral minoxidil because if there is a drop in blood pressure, which will be very mild though, is not felt at night when you are sleeping. The last question is, how long should I take 2.5 mg oral minoxidil before switching to 5 mg oral minoxidil? Well, 5 mg oral minoxidil would be a rather higher dose for hair loss. I would advise that we should start with 1.25 mg and gradually increase to 2.5 mg once a day for best results. And when do we switch from one form to the other? Well, whenever we are on any hair loss medication, we wait for one cycle. That is 4 to 6 months before switching between medications. And this holds true for minoxidil as well. As far as 5 mg oral minoxidil is concerned, yes, you can try it. If you have no problems with 2.5 mg of oral minoxidil and your doctor determines that you will be benefited by 5 mg and that you are cardiovascularly stable as proven by your being on 2.5 mg for a long time, he may well advise you to go on to 5 mg oral minoxidil. Out here, you must remember that oral minoxidil is not an alternative for a DHT blocker like finasteride or dutasteride. This is an important point you should, you should keep in mind. Minoxidil maintains your hair in good condition as long as it is there. It is not a drug which will control the progression of your baldness. It is a drug for today, not for tomorrow, as finasteride is. So in the end, I would like to convey to you that oral minoxidil is a game changer in hair loss. Oral minoxidil is a cheap drug, a very effective drug, Patient compliance is very high. Side effects with oral minoxidil are rare if a patient is cardiovascularly stable and is cleared for this medication by his physician. The problem of increased facial hair can easily be managed and most consider it as an acceptable trade-off by the many benefits that one enjoys by taking oral minoxidil. I have been using oral minoxidil for almost like 12 years now and most patients are very happy with its use. So in my patients, I advised oral minoxidil only after the patients are not happy with topical minoxidil. The greasiness, the dryness, the change in hair texture by topical minoxidil is quite worrisome in patients and in these patients, I'd like to exhibit them to oral minoxidil. Moreover, there is a coterie of patients on topical minoxidil who are not benefited at the six months mark. These are the patients who should switch to 1.25 milligrams oral minoxidil to start with and then we increase the dosage to 2.5 milligrams once a day. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions about oral minoxidil or any hair loss medication or about hair loss in general or hair transplants, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you the soonest. Have a nice day. God bless you.